Okay, so we are here in um, Second Life, and I'm already testing out the animation. So I'm just gonna upload it, and I'm gonna do the same thing for. So you used to upload and mesh. Get out of here, mesh. Uh, animation. Drink pools, the one that we had before. Because it's lovely and in the ground. Whatever. So I don't really have the time to run through how to script that chair. Let's see. Maybe one of those fancy chairs where you can just add stuff to it. So let's see. Oh wait, I don't have permissions to edit the chair. Ain't that something? I forgot. Um, so I'm going to build a square like we used to test stuff out in the old days. Build a square, sit on a set square. Run your animation, which I think is still playing. Wait, I'm being animated. Alright, sit. And turn my AO off because I'm sure that'll help. Alright. Now, let's test out those animations. Oh, and uh, we had a teacup in here too. I think that's what this is. Uh -huh. Detach. Touch to left hand. I should use the teacup that I actually had used for this. Alright, so there we have it. So, yeah, see? I guess um, it became a pose because of the way I animated it. And we can test it out again. I wonder about that. Let me try T, 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 T. Yes, it's, it's, let's see. Try it again. It can use some work, but you do see that now we're drinking tea <laughs> and not just slacking it back. Now, this is also why I said I like using uh, test uh, animations on your avatar because you get to do stuff like this without having to pay for an upload. Although I already uploaded it, <laughs> so I guess that doesn't really count. Uh, I don't know where the hey I went here. Whoever made that animation. And it all the way back there. Oh, I forgot to turn loop on. Alright, you. Quit moving. So this is the one that was in the chair that we edited. So let's see it in the world. And a fist. And let's add another teacup. Alright, so that's our edit move. So that is how you edit 
uh, existing animations and stuff like that. Now if you like what you see, you can just press upload and then let that go. But if you don't like what you see, you don't have to upload it. You can go back and edit it the way you want to. So that's it for bringing um, your scene in and animate it. Oh, sorry, I'm snapping because the target is supposed to be up here. So um, that's how you animate uh, an existing animation or, you know, what we just did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm anxious to get to the next class. So this has been another Ginkgo tutorial. My name is Zero and I just showed you how to do something cool. I hope your projects go out well and if they don't, feel free to contact me and ask for help and we'll get through it together. And if we can't, we'll try to find somebody who does know. So I'll see you guys in the next video and yeah, bye.